Right now, we're at it again. So, in today's video, we're gonna sort out the, the rust in the middle of the scuttle. Bit of an awkward one to get to. Um, hopefully, it'll go all right. It shouldn't be too much grief. As uh, depends on how far out the rot has has gone. But we'll see how we get on with that. The way I intend to do it is piecemeal. I'm not gonna mess about with trying to bend out pieces and sort of shrink and stretch and make them all fit in there. I'm just gonna go piecemeal one at a time, and you'll see how that pans out. And it's a lot quicker and a lot easier doing it like that. So I hope you enjoy, hope you learn something from it and uh, you'll see again I'm using the gasless wire. Now one or two are asking about the penetration. Well uh, I'm quite happy with the way it penetrates on the, on the uh, between the steel. Doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. And when it grinds back it grinds back nice and clean as well. So that's good. Um, I'll be using 1.1 mil steel to make the repair so thicker than the 0.9 or, or, or this wing is probably even a 0.8 or less. It's a very thin um, Pan, uh, panels on the manta, so I'm putting extra thickness in in the steel, so I've got plenty of room for wiggling, for grinding, and messing about like that as well. So keep watching, see how we get on, and uh, see you at the end. Here's today's challenge: sort out this rot on this front section of uh, scuttle here. I'll get the angle wheel on it first and see how far it's going. See some bubbles here, so it's probably right up into here somewhere. So I'll probably pull this pull this apart here and then uh, clean it up, see what we got. So you can see it doesn't take long, but what looks like a small repair become a big repair, because if you, you cut out this clean metal back here, and up to about this edge here somewhere, so we'll uh, leave all that in place for now. We'll start building our pieces up to make it before we cut it out. Again, all going to be done with simple tools. Make it one piece at a time and then connect them together. So first piece to follow the... Uh, I'll do this. That's the, I'll make sure we get, get all of the rot. So we just use our sharpie to follow that profile around there, which looks straight, but that's got a very slight curve in it. Right, I'll trim that off. In fact, the shank straight piece will do us. <coughs> What you want is the curve is so slight it's hardly noticeable. Okay, I'm gonna trim a piece off of this first using the jigsaw about so big just to hold in there for now. The idea of this is very simply is if I can make a piece that will fit snugly on top of there and I cut that out it will fit perfectly to what's below it. Super. The next piece is the build up from that, like so. You see, these pieces are fairly roughly cut, just to bang them in place. Very slight curve on that. Well, that will go there, so we'll spot that against that piece before we work on to our next bit. Lovely, right, I think I'll uh, get a couple of screws to hold this down because these clamps are getting in the way. Right, okay, let's get a strip across there then. <clears throat> I 
you notice the ends are rough i'm not worried about that we're making it oversized anyway we can trim those back once we've got the whole piece made the way we want it Right, okay, that's very nice. And the next bit you'll see is going to tuck in behind that one so we can get a nice definite spot on it. Okay, so that looks like a straight piece, but if you notice, if I put it in that way around, there's a lot more of a, there's a rock on it, so it's very, very slightly curved. So that's, uh, remembering to put it back in the right round, right way round, will help. Yes. Okay, that's the way. <laughs> Should I mark it before we went there? I'm gonna head there. Right. Let's get that one. I'm in place then. Alright, before we get too carried away, it would be best to take this off now and start welding up the other side of it and trialing it, trial fitting it. Now, of course, this can be done by shaping it and messing about with it but see how quick that was to do that in separate pieces I'll uh, weld up on this side now and grind those off and we'll trial fit to make sure it hasn't lost its shape by doing that but because it's got all those shapes in it it should hold a pretty good shape now all right that's it fully welded I welded it on the back side there and by going gently gently you can see it's kept its shape it's got that very, very slight curve to it. You can also see, one or two have asked about this, whether they get, how the gasless wire penetrates. You can see there's, there's plenty of good penetration on there. And you check it back on the car. You can see it still kept its shape there. So that's all good. So what I'm going to do before I move on to this, sort of nice little, this patch here, grind this up and uh, maybe even fit that into place and um, work a, place, a piece into there. Right, there we go. So that's just a quick rough grind to get the not the worst of it off. You get the idea now how that's come to shape, fairly complex shape there, done fairly easily. And now it's easy to overthink this stuff, and I used to until I watched Fitzy's channel. So Fitzy's Fabrications, if you haven't seen him, I thoroughly recommend watching his channel. I learned a load from him, and this basically is a process I learned from watching his channel and it has saved a pile of time because previously i would have tried to make this all in one and got all frustrated and annoyed with myself but this is so easy to do so i think the next step now will be to trim this up to the size i want it to be then drop it into cut it and drop it into place 
and then we'll worry about what we're going to do about this rot here. So looking at what we got, we've got rot coming at least to there. And there. So if we cut this down, straight down there and straight down there, that's going to give us a nice repair panel to cover all that rot in there. Maybe just a touch more on this one, maybe just past the... Same there, just past, just a touch past. I think that'll do us nicely. So I'll cut those off and then we'll scribe and drop this into place. Now it's not going to be possible to do a cut and butt because I can't get behind to uh, to release what's there. So it's going to be a case of cut it all out and scribe it into place. So gently, gently goes. Right, now all these marks, these aren't going to change, but that mark is going to change as we drop it into place. So I'll cut just past that mark for now, and I might even do a very fine cut and butt across there. We'll see how it, how it pans out now. Right, let's cut that away. Let's hope we don't damage anything important underneath. different ways of getting these separating the flanges here um, between spot welds and, uh, and plug welds and what have you I find I don't have a particular way of doing it it's mostly whatever I fancy on the day and today I'm just going to grind the, the spot welds as I come across them Let's see if we can get these separated first See now how that fits in there very nicely. Gonna get a better fit on the other side. I'm worried about is that wiper mechanism getting melted. I'll get that out of the way a little bit better. Right, okay. Get the bonnet up and see what I can see behind there. Hmm, I can't work out how the, the whole thing's bolted in place. It's just wedging something in there to hold that down enough to be out of the way. Right. Okay, that's probably enough, just to keep that away from harm's way. 
like to have taken out if I'd given the choice, but I can't see how to. Right, the other thing I want to do before I get too far ahead of myself. Put some, fill some holes in there for spots and weld through primer both lock both socks. So let's do that first. That's the two pieces all coated nicely on the back. Got some bit of coat in there. It's a shame Opal didn't do that from day one. We wouldn't be having these fun today. Right, I think I'll start along this top edge here, get this in place first and then uh, work our way in because this is a this is a bit that's going to be visible because the window rubber will come up to this, this edge here, all this is visible. Right, here we go. That's it all welded up and looking straight enough, like it's all in the shape it should be. So we'll uh, get a grind on this now, grind that up and see what it comes up like. How much that you can see with the sunshine gleaming off of it, but that's all ground back now and finish off with a gentle touch of the flat wheel just to give the edges. The, uh, the curved over look and that's come out all right so I'll chuck some paint on that now and then you'll be able to see better what it looks like that's that bit oh done and dusted with there so on a bonus I managed not to set fire to the car as well which is always a good thing when you're welding so that's it for this one next time we'll attack that corner over there right okay so that's all done so that's uh repair done it wasn't as bad as I was expecting it to be to be honest that car turned out quite well so I uh, hope you learned something from that. I've, uh, I continue to learn every time I'm working. I'm always watching other YouTube channels. I mentioned Fitzy earlier. Uh, it's definitely a channel I would recommend. I learn a, a lot from him. Uh, a guy who's been doing this sort of thing professionally for many, many years. So he's worked out a few hints and tips along the way, which has sped things up for him. And I've uh, copied them. I, I certainly learned from that. So I uh, hope that was good for you guys. And uh, please subscribe if you don't already. And uh, please click the like and comment and share and all that all helps. First one of the year, dude. First barbecue of the year. I'm a fly decided to be my friend.